Hello everybody, Grace Plays, and we're back with more Landless. So immediately, if you've been following the series at all, you're going to notice that things look substantially different. If, I feel like a broken record every time I talk about this series. But again, the developers have made a, like, a bajillion updates. I've never seen a developer like this. This developer puts out updates to this game, like, every three days. It's insane. So, there's too many to talk about. Obviously, there's whole new graphics, post-processing, uh, the, the water is actually blue now instead of that horrible green, better lighting effects, uh, better anti-aliasing. The crafting system is even better now. There's a hacking system. Uh, there's going to be monsters for us to hunt, like freaking mega sharks and sperm whales and leviathans. And next patch, and this is what I'm really interested in, there's going to be custom boats finally. Yes. Just like how we can build our own houseboat, we're going to be able to customize the boat, and I am really looking forward to that. So one of the other things that they added, on top of like a million other things that I can't even remember right now, is... They added a new job that we can do, and that is actually what I want to go and do. And I may install a new piece of hardware into our boat, just to kind of show you how that goes. I put a new engine in off camera. I actually had to do a couple of things off camera. I've had to get some loot off camera so that we can get the contract for the brand new job that's in the game. So now you can tow a giant ass barge and make freaking stacks of cash towing it. Now, I'm, I'm not 100% sure where the barge is. I've never done this before. I know they mentioned it being by the scrapyard. I think I just found the scrapyard. Man, I can't, but like, okay, so I remember when we very first, oh, and by the way, the view distance has been increased by three or four times. Look at how far out we can see things now. Oh, I love it. I remember when we first started playing this game, like, it was, I, I could feel the potential, but it was a struggle to find things to do. I was like, eh, what do you really do besides explore the water? You hunt some sharks, maybe you make some money, there's a couple of pirates. But now, there's there's underwater that you can explore. There's now cities out there, extra cities and flotillas. We're gonna, we're gonna go see the second city right now when we take this, um, this particular, this particular contract. So, let's put our gun away and go talk to this guy over here. Welcome to the Turtle Express. We're looking for some new contractors that can handle big shipments to the next town. Of course, we'll need a 100,000 whale oil deposit in case you get lost. Reloading the game will forfeit your shipment. You must make it across in one sitting. Okay, so first things first, before we do this, let's make sure that we have all the equipment we're going to need. We're going to be assaulted. As you can imagine, we're going to have a very valuable shipment. So there's going to be freaking pirates everywhere. So one of the things that we're going to want is enough food and water. You can see I have a ton of food and water. And we are going to want hull epoxy. Okay, found it. So I guess like I'll call this like the alchemist maybe? It's like it's like an herbalist or an alchemist. He's got all the plants and everything like that. We go over here. We have a hull epoxy for 90 each. We're going to want... I'm going to want a lot of it. Uh, I'll, you know what? I'll probably... Oh, and the other thing that they... Oh, I'm so happy that they did this. They changed it so that the stacks... I could just type in 50 here as well. The stacks for all the all the stuff have been, like, way, way increased. It's just... It's so good because before, I felt like I was constantly running out of space. You know what I mean? Like, um... Like, I would get a bunch of, uh, I would get a bunch of materials and electronics and scrap wood, and then I would run out of space, and I'd be like, oh, son of a, um, let's not do this yet. The sun is starting to go down. You can see it right over there. What we'll do real quick is let's go ahead and assault, maybe, maybe we'll go and assault another pirate base or something, or I could also try and get a blueprint. Let's get a blueprint. Show you how hacking works. Very simple in this game right now. They're kind of, they're, the developers are taking a lot of feedback. And they're accepting a lot of suggestions. Very cool. And one of the things that they were talking about was kind of how hacking works. So, at first they made hacking like, I don't know, kind of like this DOS-based kind of thing. But now it's more like a mini game. I kind of like the mini game. Um, it's pretty neat. Let's see, what do I want though? We have propellers. Uh, that'll give us better turn. We go over here. Oh, radio would be nice. Let's see over here. Uh, you, there's basic, and then there's also salter and waster. I kind of like the basic. The basic looks fine. 
for the for the amount of tech points that it takes Let's see what else we have over here all right over here basic generator so one of the things i got was i got a heavy engine we had a the basic crappy engine before but the heavy engine is like much better in force and speed and everything one of the things that we don't have though is a generator so let's go see if we can learn it okay so this is the mini game now in order to hack what you're basically looking for is to get this bullseye you think that you want it in the middle of like this little whatever this is but you actually want it in the front like that right there that right oh i just failed well that's bad because now we're going to get assaulted by creatures but that's all right that's going to give us potential fat loot all right creatures bring it on those are not really creatures is that is that the sun or the is that the moon way out there they're like little drone things oh <laughs> they're stuck on the building yes eat it that's what time it is drone i think there's another one stuck on the building too i can hear it like blundering around hold on let's see if we can take it out real quick i hear it around here somewhere can you hear it it's like buzzing slightly where are you there he is look at him right there didn't even see it coming now do they drop loot i haven't really messed with these guys yet oh they sure do electronics rifle ammo that's pretty good i'll take that all day got more loot up here more rifle ammo man the rifle ammo is really good too because i use the hell out of the sniper rifle i love the sniper rifle anyway so i talked a good game and then i screwed up the hacking now every time you screw up your hacking it does cost you a couple of tech points i mean you can get an infinite number of tech points but you don't really want to like go wasting them willy-nilly man this game looks so much better now i'm so happy with what they've done with this game all right let's try it again Maybe this time I can do this without screwing it up. All right, blueprints. We're going to want our engineering blueprints. We're going to want the basic generator. Learn it. Here we go. All right. Now, I like to wait until the creature is, like, at the halfway mark or further. All right. There's one. There's two. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Maximum concentration. That should be three. That should be... Damn it! Come on. Come on. And ho! There we go. Oh, my God. I finally did it. <laughs> All right, well, after a couple failures, we're set. I do have to take out the creatures because they are back somewhere, I would imagine. They should be looming around here somewhere. Before, they were beating the ever-living crap out of me. They were, like, freaking all over me. It was horrible. And they will do some quick damage if you're not prepared for it, too. I'm going to tell you what. I hear them. I hear them. I, it's interesting, too, how, like, no one else cares. What is that? Is that a bird? Oh, it's a freaking bird. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I wonder. See what kind of crack shot I am. Ready? Right there. Bird. Right out of the sky. Had no idea. Found him. There's one. There should be a second one around here somewhere. Where's the second one at? Man, free loot, baby. Free loot like this. It's not really the best way to get loot, though. The best way I've found to get loot is to destroy the waster camps, which look like these giant floating barges. Did I hear something? No, I guess not. If we see one, maybe we'll even take it down. All right, so we got our new blueprint. Let's go over here to craft. Let's go ahead and make it. Uh, machinery, perhaps? Yeah, right over here. See, I have the basic engine and the heavy engine. Look at how much better it is. This was uh, 2023. This is 2730. Actually, everything's better. We don't have a generator at all, so this is kind of nice to finally get one. So this is going to require wood planks. We have almost all of this. We need a couple more circuit boards. We have a ton of metal frames, and we have a ton of plastic moldings. So now we can just click on circuit boards. I love this so much. And then we'll make like, uh, I don't know, I'll make like five more. It'll give us a certain amount of time. Now, the only thing is, is that you have to wait until the time is completely up. I'm, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I'm okay with it. But I kind of wish that like, if I waited halfway, half of my stack would be done. You know what I mean? So we're going to get it here. Let's go ahead and right click it on over. So now we have these. And again, the crafting is using the stuff that is inside of our crafting uh, chest, which is inside the boat. And the crafting chest inside the boat doubled. Oh, God. Oh, it makes me so happy. Over here to craft. Right there. Ten seconds to get done with our generator. We'll install it into our boat. We'll go to sleep. And then in the daytime, when the sun comes up, we're going to go take that barge over to the next town. All right. So let's go ahead and grab our generator. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and grab our generator and throw it in. There we go. Now we have a generator. You can see our force is really starting to stack up right now. As a matter of fact... We go ahead and grab all the water. We're going to refuel our boat. I like that they have a refuel max now. That is really nice. Refuel our boat all the way up. We have enough stuff to get us to where we're going to go. I wonder if I, I wonder if this stacks now. Oh, it does. Yeah, see how the stack used to be 200? 
and now it's much, much more. There's a sleep till morning option too. Oh, I'm so glad they added that as well. These guys are making like great strides on this game. But I, I, I legitimately can't believe how far this game has come from, from what it was. From just, from just being a boat in the middle of the ocean with like this real kind of like jerry rig tutorial to this. All right, buddy. We're going to do this. We're going to start the trade. There it is. All right, so now he should have taken... Yeah, he took 100,000 whale oil from us. Now, this should give us uh, an automatic map feed on where we're supposed to go. I think that the other the other town shows up in a different color. Let's go ahead and bring our boat. Yeah, you can... Know. Wow, our boat is really booking now. Holy crap. All right. So let's go ahead and bring it on over here. Okay, crane tow platform. Let's try that. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. It, okay. I got it. Yeah, okay. I see how this goes. So yeah, see, it's, it's got it all freaking wonky and everything. Okay. So release platform. We want it pretty straight on. So it doesn't look like you really need the cables, but if you have the cables, I think it helps you uh, turn and stuff a little bit better. So let's try and get ourselves lined up as best as we can. Maybe a little bit more over here. This is why I don't play American Truck Simulator. All right, right about, right about there. Let's try that right there. Um, eh, it's not perfect, but whatever. It should be okay. So tow. All right, so it should be in tow. And now, there we go. There we go. Now we should be able to follow that blip on our map up there. And that should. Oh God. I think we're close enough to that buoy to piss everything off. Ooh, look at all these barrels and stuff out here. There's a lot of stuff out here. Oh, yeah, we are. Look at us book, man. We are friggin' booking. Can anyone catch up to us? Look at the speed. Look at the agility. We got 960 hull strength left. I'm kind of keeping an eye out as the epic music plays over here. Now, the distance from one town to the other. Yep, look at that. We've got a gunboat coming in right now. Coming in hot. I think we may be able to outrun it though, thanks to the sheer speed of our boat. I mean, we could try and take it out if we wanted to, but for my very first barge run, I think I'd rather just get the damn money. Drop this thing off, get the cash, call it a day. Is it pulling us a little bit? It's almost like it's pulling us a little bit or something. Because the city, if you notice, every once in a while is like getting off of our, uh, outside of our nautical kind of, kind of scope over there. Man, look at all these buoys now. I used to have trouble finding buoys, man. Now they're everywhere. The buoys are absolute gold mines because that's where you get your tech points from so that you can continue to get all these new blueprints and the blueprints are worth it every damn time. Man, there are crates everywhere out here. That's another thing that they changed. They said the sea is a lot more alive now. So you're gonna find more boats, more floating cities, more little trading depots and stuff like that. And I think that's great. Give it, give it, give me it all, baby. More depots, more, more trading stations, more whales and stuff like that. I can't wait for that next update where you can hunt sperm whales and stuff like that. Supposedly, you can affix uh, harpoon guns to your, to your thing. Oh. What, is, what the hell is that over there? You see that over there? That's not the city we're going to, but that's... That's pretty cool, whatever that is. I almost want to take a look at it, but maybe we'll look at it on the way back. Now that over there looks like a waster camp. That thing kind of looming over there. The one thing that you'll notice about the waster camps is they have like uh, gun turrets on them. And it looks like we have another barge or boat or something over here in the distance. In fact, it looks like it's going to cross our path. Yeah, look at that. It's showing up on our radar. Oh, there, buddy. Get up out of old Gray's way. I got money to make, baby. I don't even know what this gives us. I have no idea what this what this shipment is worth. Wow, this is a hell of a run. I got to tell you something. I've been, I mean, we've been boating for a good, I don't know, seven, seven, eight, nine minutes. If you don't have an upgraded engine and stuff like that, this would take you forever. And I by no means have like the best upgraded engine. I just have the next tier from the basic tier, the heavy tier. They said too, man, make sure you have plenty of fuel when you make this run. And they were damn right. Oh my God. 
This is a hell of a run right now. We're down to 683 fuel. Oh, I see something in the distance up there. I don't know if that's town or if that's just another barge or something like that. I'm really glad that we're not getting any bad weather or anything. Actually, the weather outside is beautiful right now. Totally beautiful. All right, looks like we're coming into some fog here. Look at that fog. And I can see many, many buoys. Wow, if you want to do some buoy hunting, look at that. There's four buoys in the distance over here that I can see. And then there's something big in the distance over there. That looks like town, I'll bet. And yeah, the way that the uh, the way that the barge is affixed to your boat, it will unbalance your boat. So our boat is slightly unbalanced to one side, and it's pulling. That's why I kind of have to keep nudging us to the other side. What the hell is that? What is that? Look at that thing right there. What the hell is that? Hold on. Is that an enemy boat? Or look at this. I had no idea this was on the water. We got to come back to that. Oh, that looks awesome. Look at that. Look at that freaking barge over there. Holy Jesus. I thought I had a boat. All right. You win. Your boat is bigger than mine. That's got to be town, though. So I wonder if that boat is a part of town or something like that. It's very interesting. Now, I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to bring this thing. So right now I'm kind of flying by the sea. Yep, this is it. This is town right over here. Cool. All right, let me go ahead and see if I can find... I, I imagine it's that dock over there, I'll bet. Look at these salters. Look at these salters incoming. That's a gunboat over there, by the way. Right there. And there's another one right there. But they're not allowed, there's a contract. They're not allowed to come too close to these towns over here. So, as long as you can make it to the town, you're safe. Ha ha ha! Scumbag. Alright. Let's go see if we can finish our, let's see if we can finish our job over here. Alright, this is looking like it. Let's go ahead and move in. See if I can drop this off. Now, supposedly, when you get close enough, I think it just disappears or something. There it is! There it is! The Turtle Express, we unlocked the achievement! Sweet! So what did I get for it? Wow! 60 grand in whale oil about. That's what I'm talking about. Do you get, do you get like any other items or anything? I don't think you do. All right, so when you get here, you can talk to this guy and he'll allow you to do the Turtle Express back to our original town. But I think instead, what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna sleep here for the night. And we gotta check, I gotta see, I gotta know what that is. And maybe we'll even take down a couple of these buoys and get some more tech points so we can continue to upgrade our boat. Let's see what the city's like too. I haven't messed with this place yet. Looks uh, very corrugated scrap-like. Oh, we got, look at these shops over here. What is this? What are you? Okay, are those engines? Look like friggin' turbines or something. There's a dude over here. I don't know what, what do you buy from? Oh, wow. He sells engines and motors and cables and all kinds of stuff already put together. Well, that's good to know. All right. Guns. Up the stairs. Oh, going to the gun show, baby. Now, what do you have? Oh, okay. So this is the guy that you turn in your black boxes to. Got it. And then all the way at the top, we got the man himself with his little animated gun sign. Now, what do you have over here? You got some pistols. Wow, look at this. Look at how much it costs. Ooh, an assault rifle. So the sniper rifle's the best one, and we have a whole freaking slew of it. That's what I'm talking about. Text not found. That's interesting. For the shotgun ammo? I'm pretty sure that shotgun ammo always had name. So I'm, I'm kind of, it's kind of weird that it doesn't have a name right now. Um, I would like to get a assault rifle so that we have one of every weapon. But for right now, I guess we'll just keep what we have. Plus, I do want to make some more money. Because remember, we need a hundred grand just to be able to get a contract. We get our hundred grand back, but we have to spend that hundred grand to show that we are capable enough to move the uh, the thing around. And what are you over here? This looks like this looks like our guy. Oh, cooked items. Okay, so we can buy cooked food from him. There's no reason to buy cooked food. I don't think you you get so much meat from killing sharks and stuff like that that you're gonna be fed forever. All right, I'm gonna go hit the hay in the morning time. Let's go check that freaking barge out. Something I mentioned to you about crafting, and this is actually really nice. So everything does have a time that it takes to craft, but you can just leave this here. Like, we can just get out of this, and we can stack a bunch of crafting orders, 
and it'll craft for us even if we're not even if we're not messing with it so that's kind of cool all right let's go get inside of our inside of our boat real quick and let's go ahead over to this barge i need to know what the hell this is and then we'll take out some buoys real quick we'll get into a little bit of combat as a matter of fact if we can get like a gunboat or something like that that would be pretty cool and i have a mission to destroy a gunboat so what the hell is this What is this? It's like a city. Hold on. I can get closer, but I'm, I want to almost swim for this. Look, there's a little raft over here. What is this? Did you hear that? Something shooting at me? Can I, can I get up this? We get nose to nose with this thing. And let me see if I can jump up into it or something. Maybe I can jump up into it. Ow. Ah, I'm getting shot at. Who, who dare, who dare shoot me? Where are you, where are you coming from, you little bastards? I can hear you. Are you on top of this? You on top of this boat? Is that what this is? Yeah, I was getting shot at by a scumbag in there. All right, I'm almost in. I can't quite get on the, man, I, ah. All right, all right. Well, I mean, it looks cool as hell. I don't know what the hell it's for. But it looks freaking sweet. Let's go ahead and take out some buoys, though. I think it's time to take out some buoys, get some blueprints. Because we're going to want more and more of the unlocks in this game, for sure. There we go. The buoy ignites. You can see it turns red. It's going to start sending salters at us. But that's no big deal. Because we are going to beat the ever-living hell out of these guys. All right, I'm going to get out of here. You want to make sure to have your two feet on, uh, on land. Well, land. On a hard object. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to pull your gun out and shoot back. You can't shoot while you're in the water, unfortunately. So every once in a while, I like to take a look. Yeah, see right over here? Look at this. Not today, scumbag. Now you want to shoot the driver first, passenger second. Right like that. This way you can't get away. Back over here. There we go. Gray still snipes, boys. Gray still snipes. I'm getting a little bit better. Every once in a while, I can hit someone with my gun. Not too often, but every once in a while. What else do we have around here? Anything else coming in? Uh, there's something over there, but I think that's just a regular boat. There's a shark right over there. Ow! Whoa! Ow! Ooh! Ouch! Okay. All right. Yep. That's fine. That's fine. What do we got going on over here? What do we got going on over here? Oh, right there. Uh. See how he's getting away? See how he's getting away? I don't freaking think so. There's no getting away from Gray. Right there. Right there. That was from the hip, boys. That one right there was from the freaking hip. All right, we need to take this thing down quick before they keep coming. I got plenty of bullets, but I don't really feel like fighting these guys all day. I want my black box, and I want to get the hell out of here. And boom, right there. All right, so that's done. Let's go get into our boat. I think there's a shark around here, too. Watch out for them. Let me go ahead and get inside real quick. Uh, do I need to heal? Eh, we could use a little bit of health right there. You can drink for a little bit of your uh, a little bit of your health back. All right. What do we got going on over here? What is that? That's a gunship. That right there is a gunship. We're going to beat the crap out of that in just a second. First things first. Let me go ahead and loot this. And we got some loot over here. Let's go. What? There we go. Let's go grab that. A little bit of loot out here. I see, like, some Cthulhu-like jellyfish that run around every once in a while. If I see some, I'll let you guys know. I tried to mess... That's a tuna fish right there. I tried to mess with them, but I couldn't. All right. Yeah, we're set. All right, gunboat. Ready? And... Eat it! Look at that dude pop up! Popped up like a piece of freaking popcorn! Hey! How you boys doing? Ho! Oh, there we go. And one more time. Happy New Year. Right over there. I don't know what that was, but I shot it anyway. And I think we're done. I think we're done. Is that a gun over there? Whoa! Where the hell is it going? Ah! Gonna ram me? You must be crazy. Waste your gunboat down, baby. How's our boat doing, actually, after that beating? Whoa! Hi! Okay, ooh, loot. Grab that loot. 
what we got? We got scrap wood, biofuel, biofuel, yes. All right, we want all that for sure. The biofuel is going to keep us afloat after, well, not really afloat, but it's going to keep us able to drive around and stuff. Boat's not even hurt. Every once in a while, you're going to get quests over here in radio. See how we can collect some? Look at this. One waster gunboat. We did that. Let's go ahead and collect it. Uh, tiger sharks. We haven't done that yet. Rotary drones. We haven't done that yet. Rafts. And we did that one over there. Okay, cool. So we've done several so far. There's another gunboat over there. Let's go turn in our, uh, let's go turn in our tech points. Maybe we'll go unlock something else and make our boat even better. Uh. Man, I love these new towns. Welcome. I just noticed that. I never went through the little main part over here. Now, the, the guy is by the guns, wasn't he? I think. By the way, make sure to always Skyrim everything. You can loot all the little boxes in these places one time. So there's no reason not to because they always have a good amount of loot and stuff in them. All kinds of goodies. Oh, I see another box back here. This guy's trying to hide it from me. Oh, let me see if we let me see if we can get past them. Yep, right there. Look at that. Biofuel, ammunition, everything a growing boy needs. Or girl in this case. There's our guy. Alright, let's talk to him. We're gonna exchange. Oh. That gave us 10 tech points. Usually I only got eight. That's kind of interesting. Alright, well, whatever. Maybe it was like a harder one than normal or something. Alright, let's look over here and see what else we can get for our boat. Alright, so one of the things we don't have is a motor. We have an engine, but oddly we don't have a motor. So this gives us uh, rate and strength. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's see if we can learn it. All right, ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Come on now. Hope. And hey. And one time. There we go. Man, I'm starting to get it down now, baby. All right, let's go ahead and craft it real quick. Brand new motor for the boat. Man, we can make custom boats. We're going to have the best friggin' boat in the high seas. All right, what do we need? We, we got plenty. Oh, we have everything. We have everything we need. Go ahead and craft one real quick. Oh, look, we have a ton of food that we just got, too. Wow, we have a ton of food. Uh, as a matter of fact, I can get more water and stuff, too. So grab that. Bring this over to motor. And now you can see we are getting pretty stacked with strength and turning and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and collect the rest of our water over here. Refuel the boat all... Actually, refuel the boat all the way this way. And there we go, boys. Our boat is fully upgraded. Well, is getting fully upgraded. We discovered a new town. We towed a giant ass barge. There's a little quest line that we can do, repeatable, for a bunch of money and stuff like that. And whatever that boat is, I do want to check it out. And we have the new monsters patch coming up next. Guys, hope you're enjoying Landless. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much more.